I am sitting here at Mohawk and I am bored out of my mind. Uh, I was in the first race with Ale Sun. Ale Sun finished fifth. It wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. I mean, that was a straight non winners of three class, and the horse that won it certainly didn't belong in that facility. The way the way he raced, wow, he just circled the field and jogged. Ale Sun whacked it out. I think her hobbles could come out a little bit longer and need to get the gate and strap off her and find a better class for her. So, seeing as we put, uh, spend that money in London Wednesday, we entered Ale Sun for the class that uh, spend that money was in. Same class, different track. The exact same class. Um, and then Oso Pine, third beat a half a length. Race good here at Mohawk. We scratched hands and I tricks because she was sick today. So that just left me driving over here to sit here and wait. You can't really go in and mingle in the paddock. They, they, you know, they don't want people in there. And I didn't really want to be in there. So I've been sitting out in the car trying to figure out what I do. I have all my lists and stables and everything on my other phone. That's what I look at. Everything's on there. Don't have my other phone with me. So I literally went in and wrote down all the two-year-olds in our midst. Forgive me if I missed any. I don't think I did. Pretty sure I got them all. Uh, so I'm going to go through all the two-year-olds. I did a top ten list. Today. Some sh shocking developments, I guess, uh, in the way of some horses that really jumped up today. No real horses that I said, oh, that horse looked terrible. There really wasn't any of those today. There were some horses made breaks. There were some horses that had so-so days. But none that were like, uh, Monday, I'm going to start with this horse. And to be quite frank, over the last three years, there's always been that short list where I had to go with the horses. Starting Monday, these, this is my list. right? We joke about it sometimes, but I usually have a list. I don't think I have one right now. Everybody's kind of doing their work well. This is very rare. Um, and some horses really jumped up today. As I said, top ten list uh, highlighted a number of, of uh, horses new to the list, first time on the list or returning to the list, but certainly no stalwarts except for, uh, you know, the same, uh, the same crew, um, Bomb Hugger was on the top, uh, Isaac 10 was in there, Voyage of Ice and Fire was in there, our Ohio horses were good again, but some horses really jumped up, so let's get right to the, these are all the two-year-olds, what I think of how they did, almost their boss was great today, uh, James said on the right line a little bit, not really to where we would implement and put them into that system, I think it's just a matter of maybe put a little blister on him, get the cork off him. I think he's one of the last ones not to have cork. Get the cork off him, um, and then just start working with him. He was good today. Uh, I just jumped on him with Miss Mildred, and I forgot, as I said in my top ten list, I forgot how quick, how strong and quick a turn of a foot uh, Miss Mildred has. Until you sit behind her, you don't realize it. Yeah, she'll, she'll dance along, and then you tap her on the tail, and there's like something there that a lot of horses don't really have. Now... A good horse can carry that burst. Can she do that? We don't know. But she has a gear, a very quick, quick turn of foot, and a very interesting horse to go with. Uh, I thought she'd be a lot greener and weaker today. I moved her to the front and then sat in the two hole. I purposely wanted her up close and in the mix because she has to learn to sit. And I've seen her in trouble a couple of times where with Amy, with Colt, um, with Brody, I believe. I'm not sure about Brody, but... Uh, a couple of people had just gotten spots with her where she was a little overbearing. Now we changed her bit, uh, put a put a wire of snake pit in her mouth, but um, she was so good today. So let's get right to it. Almost Air Boss was second, just beat uh, a whisker at the wire by uh, Miss Mildred, but was very, very good. Some changes to be made with him, some improvements, I believe, but for the most part, Almost Air Boss was good today. Uh, Amor Diener, very good today. Now, I did win the set with Massive Profit, but Amor Diener was flying on the end of it. You've seen him do that a couple of times and get out of gear and make breaks down by the wire. None of that today. He was all business. Arches Rainbow was good again. Spoke to Johnny. He said, ah, she was acting up, going on the track and goofing around. She did her work well. This is a filly I need to see put on some weight and work hard. She's been doing very, very good all along. She wasn't spectacular today, but she was good. Uh, Blue Bayou Dio is a horse that's um, transforming a little bit. She was on a line bed. She still gets on that line pretty good. But now, less on the right line, a little more on the left line. You can see her making breaks in the straightaways. Uh, I'm almost positive what she's doing. She's switching her leads. And um, I didn't ask Teresa, but I would suspect there might be a little mark on that left hind down low. Uh, she might touch that in the straightaway. So just a matter of putting on a scalper. And as we adjust with her and as she grows, matures, and sounds up, 
we can make adjustments along the way, but Blue Bayou Dio is definitely getting better and look good today. Uh, bomb hugger. Uh, I don't need to keep gushing over this filly. You guys know if you don't know how I, f how I feel about her, then go watch the top 10 list. She is the best horse on the training center right now. What I mean is she is the total package. She does everything right. I'm not saying she's going to win the Breeders' Crown or, or anything like that. Well, she won't because I don't think we paid her into it, but she, she does everything correctly, quickly, smartly now. She just, she's the best horse we have right now. So she's smaller than a lot of these bigger horses. What is this list going to look like in June, July, whatever? Uh, but for right now, Bomb Hugger is the top of the class. Uh, Century Invictus was good again today. This horse's attitude is getting better. He's getting stronger. He's getting more confident. He's doing what we want to see him do. Uh, Brody went with him today. Now, he was in behind. We had a five-horse set, uh, almost there, boss, and Miss Mildred were sitting one-two. And there was nobody going to catch those two. Sea Biscuit couldn't have run by them down the lane. They were going so quick from the head of lane to the wire. Felt like anyway. And certainly those three horses in behind us, Century Invictus, um, the Jelly Philly. Uh, who was the other one? Of course, I can't think of it when it's right in front of me. Um, the other pacer will come to me. So Peanut Butter and Jelly. Um, peanut Butter and Jelly. Century Invictus uh, were in behind Miss Mildred and almost there, boss, and it's bugging me now. Aha! Luck of the Dragon was there also. So those two finished up together. The, the next grouping were all right together also. Um, so that was Century Invictus. Confederate Cruiser was good again today. Uh, Jimmy said much better steering, a little better. Uh, we chopped all the toes off him, got all the winter cork off him, so he was a little peggy today, but he was good. He was good. Duke Dio, uh, we didn't train Duke Dio today, as I said kind of in between what we're going to do with him. I'm, I'm just taking it day by day. If I don't think he looks perfect on Monday, it may be, uh, we may just give him a little rest. I know what it is. His knees are bugging him a little bit. No big deal. It's not a big deal. He's not lame. He's not sore. Just a little, notice him a little naughty right front on the right line a bit. You can fix that. No problem. We are in a position to do that. Uh, I think it's been very effective the way we've, we've managed the horse's issues this season. And uh, very confident that Duke Dio, there'll be no issues there. LSL was good again today. Now, wasn't perfect. He did make a little break halfway down the lane, got out of gear. As I said to James, as you ask him to go into top gear, that left hind where he's got those knots just doesn't move as fluidly, right? And they'll work out. They'll work out as they go along. But uh, he was really good on Wednesday, and he was pretty good today. So he's coming. Uh, Eyes of 10 was great, finished up strong, won her set. Picked off of Tom, Prairie Fire, uh, and looked good doing it. And to be quite frank, she didn't warm up the greatest. Looked a little pacey, a little shuffly. They just got the winter cork off her. Sh new shoes on her. Took some of the toe off her. Trotting boots instead of vet wrap, or instead of polos behind. You can see she was a little shuffly, but when, when push came to shove, she was there to play, and she won the set today. Garden State deal was very good again. I continue to tell you guys, this horse could have been on the top ten, I suppose. Um, I continue to tell you she keeps coming forward and forward and forward. Very impressed with what I've seen from Garden State Dio. Grace, you're going to hear a lot about Grace, I think, over the next couple of months. She continues to get strong, and I hit her in with a strong bunch today. And um, very strong bunch. And Amy said, gee, she got her in tough enough. And I said, well, she's a worker, right? She's a worker. And uh, Amy went out there and went with her, and she was closing in on Voyage of Ice and Fire and Renegade Gypsy at the wire. Uh, catching up slowly. She was back a little bit, but this affiliate doesn't have the, near the work that they do. One had OCDs removed and was sick quite a bit in the fall into the winter. We stopped with her, gave her some time off. She's starting to come forward in a big, big way right now. Granite Hill, much better. As I said to to uh, Deb, the caretaker, after, um, you know, she said, geez, he's blowing today. I said, that's good. If he didn't run, he's blowing. That means he's working hard. We just can't overwork him. So uh, he finished third in his set today, or fourth. Uh, I was happy with the horse, but 232 is where he's ready to go. That's still plenty fast right now. If we continue to push him every so often, every Saturday, push him and push him and shove him a little bit, uh, he'll put more muscle on. And I think the way we had him shod is adequate. I think it's good right now. Uh, may go through some changes as far as his gear and his shoeing over the next couple of months, but for now, I'm pretty happy where he's at. Harlan L. was better again, continues to get better and better and better. Harlan L. is going to look better, um, is going to look better as the as the, as the the spring progresses. Corks are off him now. You know, I, I asked Greg to get him out in the mornings and let him put some muscle on, make sure he's eating good. 
Um, and I think you will, and I think you'll see Harlan L get better and better and better. Harvard Yard continues to train good. I'm sorry, I don't have much more to say, but I've never gone with Harvard Yard. Uh, this is a filly, obviously, that we bought in conjunction with Hold the Line Stables, Tim Twaddle and, and Jason Petrie. And uh, by all accounts, Harvard Yard is training well. Hill of Magic starts back full uh, full workouts next week. She's been jogging all week. I think it was a little unfair to ask her to train today. I will train her myself on Wednesday. First trip on Wednesday. Hopefully we'll have the drone next Saturday. And Hill of Magic will definitely be under the drone. Kathy with an eye continues to do good. No urine today. No urine of any kind. Uh, did her work well. Work well. Worked well today. Can't ask her for much more than that. Luck of the Dragon again was good today. Johnny made a very, a very keen point, both Johnny and James. He's one on the front. He's one first over. He's never snapped off cover and rushed by them. So maybe that's something we need to work on uh, with Luck of the Dragon moving forward. We'll see. Very few wrinkles in this guy. He's really, really good right now. Massive profit. Um, I, I made a bit of a, a bit of an obscure prediction last week. I had a lot of people saying, "Hey, you know, where where do you come up with this prediction that Massive Profit is one of your best horses?" There's no information that I that we can see. That would lead us to believe that. What are you looking at that we're not? And I guess what I'm looking at is the horse every day. What are his good traits? What are his bad traits? Is he progressing? How is he progressing? Does he... I guess the fairest way to put it is what he reminds me of. He, he, he has a lot of the good attributes I remember in all of our best horses. That doesn't mean that he will be. I just... I like him a lot. And I think he's got a lot to offer. And I think, and then factor that in with how immature mentally he is, looks at stuff. But now you can see him start to get it, right? He'll follow now. He, he won't spook at the things that he used to spook at. He'll advance quickly without hesitation. These are progressions I see in his in his mental acuity also. And uh, Massive Profit, one is set today. Look great. I, I got big hopes and big plans for this Colt. Now, I didn't pay him into a ton of stuff. He's going to Indiana. Same as spent. But... I think this could be a, a good horse for us, and I hope he is, but we'll see. And as I said to everybody today, it's not me trying to sell shares of the horse. I, there isn't any. I just think he's a nice horse. Matt's MVP came out swinging in today. Now we're going to have a lot of people saying, Anthony GC, he trains well when there's no camera around. Okay, I guess. He trains well. <laughs> he's only had a couple of bad training trips in the last two months. So uh, Matt's MVP was great again today. In fact... Uh, so good. He is the fastest. Him. Uh, I didn't get confirmation from Johnny, but now that I go over it in my mind, I thought Slim Jimmy won that set, but I, w I was quite a ways back, right? I Granite Hill, I, I went in 231. So now I had started on the front, Slim Jimmy and Matt's MVP were at the back. Combine that by, they beat me by eight lengths at least. And I believe Matt's MVP got up to win 226, I think. Fastest mile of the year for a two year old, the fastest horse in her midst. So certainly no concerns with Matt's MVP today. Uh, Mischievous Rose made a little break today. Johnny said she was running in, but I looked down. I saw a whole bunch of fresh nail holes in her feet. Uh, she got shot yesterday. So anytime these babies get, especially trotters, get shot the day before they train, I'm always a little leery, and I'll always cut them some slack. Mischievous Rose has been great. Certainly no concerns with her. <clears throat> Miss Mildred. I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, this is a filly that's been off almost a month. Trained once Wednesday. Come out today and just beat every one of our best pacers. All of them. Got away. I moved her to the front. I let uh, almost their boss go. I moved out around the last turn and beat him. Fair and square. And we were rocking on the end of it. Um, she, she's a nice filly. She's just a nice filly. I don't want to tell you. Uh, very good filly. Of Tom was good again today. Just got beat at the wire by um, eyes of 10. And just beside me was Prairie Fire. We weren't going to beat Will to win Hanover Tate. She made a break. Another break. People are going to say, oh, you keep talking about this filly. All she does is run, 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 run. I don't care. I, I don't care about the breaks right now. mean nothing to me. As I said to James, she is going to make breaks right now to learn how to not break, make breaks later. Her breaks are her trying to come trying to come too fast. She's trying to do too much at once. She's trying to trot faster than she's able to physically do right now. And that's where they come from. And that's that mental immaturity. And if we keep putting her in these situations and make breaks... Whether she makes breaks or not, eventually she won't. And that is the plan with uh, with her. How did I get to her? Oh, because I was talking about... Anyway, I'll get to her in a minute. Of Tom was second beat a neck, uh, and Prairie Fire was just behind me. Uh, one, two, skip a few. Still getting the wrinkles out of this filly's back. Man, I had to gallop her today. I went on the track, and choppy, choppy, choppy. You could tell she's just stiff. 
because she had tied up. Even two weeks ago, the remnants of, of a, a very bad tie-up, I think, are still there. You see these knots in her. And I let her gallop just to really stretch out and then just sat her on the outside the first uh, quarter, moved to the front, and then rose above it come 100. And Johnny was a passenger. For a little horse, he's got a mouth on him like an alligator sometimes. And rose above it, went to the front, and I knew we were going lots. We only ended up going in 28. I could have pushed her. I didn't feel she was ready to go there. The horses that were in with us were probably better off going in 32 than 28. Johnny did nothing wrong, but the horse was, he, he was uh, a passenger today. So Rose above it won the set uh, by open lengths. I was third. Um, uh, the Philly, what's her name? Better be Sawyer just got up to beat me for second. And I was third. It was a good set, a great training mile for her. It just shows how tough this Philly is. I absolutely love one, two, skip a few. Peanut butter and jelly continues to be good. She was in with the Miss Mildred crew. She's going to get her time in the light. I can guarantee you that. Nice gate, strong filly, getting better every time. She'll get there. Prairie Fire, talk about getting better every time. Second to Will Dwayne Hammer in a big mile on Wednesday. And then he just sat outside of her today, sat and sat and sat. She made a break. He went on. But when she made a break, he kind of moved over. I got through with Of Tom. Amy got through with, with uh, Eyes of Ten and beat us both. But we were all right across the track. Prairie Fire meant business all week, and especially today. Uh, procrastinator, good. Mile and 231 today. Good. Keeps getting better and better and better. This guy here, uh, we'll play it by ear. I mean, if you were going to put a gun to my head and say, hey, what's going to happen with Procrastinator? I would say he'll probably get the 215, 220. He's going to go through another growth spurt. Maybe we'll turn him out for a little while. We'll see. This Colt, you know, he could be something if we treat him right. We treat him wrong I can guarantee you what he's going to be so procrastinator is a, a different case altogether this guy is gets his own special attention all the time purple aura you know has fell to the back burner a little bit we put a hood on her she's not hot anymore she's quiet there's no reason to there's no we already know what she can do which is everything right there's no reason to start her up and wind her up she's fine just like that right into May she trots just like this right into May Purple Aura would be a nice horse for us all summer. Renegade Gypsy saw another little spark of this guy today. I just, now Mario might say, oh, you didn't beat me. It doesn't matter. Renegade Gypsy was not And listen, I, I think I did. I know I beat him at Voyage of Ice and Fire, but I myself brought Voyage of Ice and Fire in at sixth in the top ten list. Renegade Gypsy at second. I think this horse has the world in front of him. And the world is his oyster, as they say. He's got all the tools. He knows how to use them. It's just a matter of preparing him properly to race in 2021. Really, really impressed with Renegade Gypsy. Resolute Bay. Um, I, I'm trying to think if he made a break today. I don't, I don't think he did. Yeah, he did. He did, Johnny said. It's first one of the first sets, the track was still a little firm. You know, I'm making excuses here. He rolled off. He's going to once in a while. It won't be the last time he makes a break, but he's been good. For quite a while so resolute bay although we made a break today i suspect that's a um there'll be fewer and far between i think over the next little while for resolute bay rose above it trotting great a little bit of a goofball the last couple of weeks now i've had a steering bar a jawbreaker on him uh the last two weeks we're gonna have to switch that to maybe a snake cord get him under control again I think he's a little full of himself right now you know james and i both said it at the same time you know it's nice to be a bully but when you're a small bully doesn't work out that well. Usually you'll hook onto somebody that'll break your heart. So Rose above it. I'm going to put him in a little stiffer bunch next week. Uh, change his headgear around. Get him under control. Nice colt. I think he's got, again, another colt. Very well bred. Good looking colt. Trots very fluidly. I like him a lot. Got to get him under control. Rosie's Masterpiece had a splint crowd today. We gave her the day off. She'll be back at it next Saturday, I guess. Uh, Slim Jimmy was fantastic today. I thought he won. I, I don't have the official result. Slim Jimmy and Matt's MVP were heads apart. 226, the two fastest horses in the barn today. If you would have said Slim Jimmy and Matt's MVP would be the two fastest horses on March the 13th, 2021, nobody would be buying that ticket. That was, uh, was quite, the, quite the trip today. Slim Jimmy looked amazing today. Spent uh, made a little break in the last turn. He will until he gets, I said to James, until he gets stronger. I mean, two things. Good news is he's not going to race on half, so you don't care, care about the brakes in the middle of the turns. Secondly, and most importantly, as he puts that muscle on, those steps he puts in the turns or maybe gets a little unsure of himself, that will dissipate with, with time. That's why we train them like this, so I'm not really concerned at all. Stonebridge Dolce continues to get better and better and better. Jimmy went with her today and said, I actually like this filly. She's a pretty likable filly right now. Uh, I think she's a ways from turning any heads, but considering where she was, 
infinitely better than she's been. Stonebird Chikati gets better and better and better. Looked very, very good today. Very impressed with this colt, the way he looked today. Uh, continues to get faster and stronger. Sweet on Peeth, much better. Made a shoeing change on her. Different, different horse today. I, I expect much better things. You're not going to see her very best probably for another month to six weeks. But she's coming every week. A little bit better, a little bit better. Look good today. Three-point blue chip, flat line today. Again, changed his shoes. James said he wasn't running in, wasn't pulling up, wasn't acting up. Did his work well, so... Straight A's across the board for three-point blue chip today. Ty went on, looked good again today. Very good. Johnny went with her. Uh, Tioga Sunshine made a very rare break today. She was acting up in the last turn. Probably, you know, Amy kind of picked at her, picked at her, and she kind of threw it in a neutral for a second and run. Once in a while, you got to really snap her and, and get her up on the bit. Um, a rare break for Tioga Sunshine today. Uh, Twin B Habaneros, three weeks in the stall. I said three weeks in the stall, three weeks in the pool. This will be the first week coming up on Tuesday. So it's just a point of, of ensuring that we have the best uh, the best form of each horse going into the summer. And I think this was the smartest move for Twin B Habanero. Just a big, giant horse. Uh, twinkle in her eye. Again, little splint crowd on her also. So that's good. Uh, all these little aches and pains, we're, we're nipping them in the bud quickly. It definitely helps. Twinkle in her eye trained great on Wednesday. She'll be back next Saturday. You Gotta Believe was good on Wednesday. I'll be honest. I don't know how he did today. Chris went with him. He was... Uh, he was 4th, 5th, or 6th or something. But he's been training very, very good. Always been happy with you, got to believe. Unbeatable Kemp. Now, we're going to have Jimmy do his top 10 list this week. He might tell you this is the best horse in the property. He continues to tell me how good Unbeatable Kemp is. He hasn't been fantastic, but he looked good today. So, uh, very good. No matter what happened before today, it doesn't matter. Starting over, he looks fantastic right now, today. Uh, Voyage of Ice and Fire was good again. I believe he got up to win. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? He was very, very good. Continues to be very good. Will to win Hanover. I keep telling everybody, and I'll stand with what I said. Best horse in the barn. I think she'll be our best horse in 2021. Take nothing away from any other horse on the property. Not Bomb Hugger or anybody else. Take nothing away from them. They're all nice horses. I believe what I see in Will to win Hanover. I believe James's boredom will wear her down. I believe that she'll polish up nicely. She'll learn those mistakes she made, makes right now. She'll be ahead of them when they come to her again, and, the, and they will. She's so fast and so high strung sometimes that she is going to have to be smarter. I believe she will. I believe this can be an extremely talented horse for us in 2021, and I can't wait to see her at the races. Now, world for two. Look great today. One is set. Destroyed them. Uh, Mario moved him to the front. He said, GC looks good. You know, he said he had flip-flops. So I said, no, there'd be no shoeing changes or equipment changes. Leave him the way he is. I love this horse. I think he's going to be a good horse. I don't want to see any sore steps from him. He looked amazing today. So Mario's crew and Mario did a great job with him all week. They've had him a week. He looks good. I hope he grows from here because he looked fantastic. Finally, race eight is here. I'm going to go drive the knot over. and Hopefully we have some luck. Hoping to just jinx myself. But we'll see. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.